Hi there, we're going to find a polynomial function of degree 3 with real coefficients that has the given zeros, negative 2, 3, and negative 8. So what I'm going to do is use the factor theorem and create factors. <clears throat> x minus negative 2, x minus 3, and x minus negative 8 I'll multiply these three factors together and get this uh, function. It's a polynomial function, x to the third power, and an unknown number times x squared, minus 14x minus 48. We have to find the unknown coefficient of x squared. Notice that I'm going to FOIL the last two factors. It's just easier that way, I think. So I'll have parentheses x plus 2 times bracket x squared plus 8x minus 3x minus 24 bracket closed. I'll combine my like terms. That will give me parentheses x plus 2 times parentheses x squared plus 5x minus 24. Now I'll multiply the binomial x plus 2 times the trinomial x squared plus 5x minus 24 and the strategy I'll use will be to take the binomial x plus 2 and multiply it by each of the terms in the trinomial. So I'll have x, x squared times x plus 2 plus 5x times x plus 2 minus 24 times x plus 2. I'm going to multiply those together. All of that noise is me sitting down on the bed by the cat. I just got back from being out of town and the cat is thoroughly enjoying not having the dogs around. Aha! Now we know what the mystery number is. See how if you patiently go step by step, you can get the answer. This number will be 7. All right, now write a polynomial function in standard form with real coefficients whose zeros include 5, 9i, and negative 9i. Again, we're going to use the factor theorem. We're going to multiply the factors together, and we will get the resultant uh, cubic polynomial. So I'm going to multiply x minus 5 times x plus 9i, times x minus 9i. I got the x plus 9i from saying x minus negative 9i. Now I'm going to take the factor x minus 5 and I'm going to multiply it by the FOIL of x plus 9i times x minus 9i.
Notice that x plus 9i and x minus 9i are conjugates. So when I multiply them, I get the difference of two squares. That will give me x minus 5 times x squared minus 81i squared. But you remember what i squared is, right? That will be x squared minus 81 times negative 1. So we'll have x minus 5 times x squared plus 81. Now we've got a binomial times a binomial. Let's, let's foil them. And as I gather my like terms together, we will have x to the third minus 5x squared plus 81x minus four hundred five. And that's going to be my answer. All right, suppose a, a polynomial of degree 4 with rational coefficients has the given numbers as zeros. Find the other zero. Now that's really all we have to do. And the rational zero theorem says, actually it's not the rational zero theorems, it's one of the factor theorems. It says that if I have a polynomial with rational coefficients, and if I have one radical uh, factor, then I'm going to have its conjugate. All right, so since the factors listed are negative 5, the square root of 5, and 7 fifths, that means that negative the square root of 5 is also going to be a factor. That's all that I needed to do. It's all that I needed to do, but instead I decided, well, let's look at the process of actually finding the original polynomial. And so I went to a lot more trouble than I needed to go to. but I knew you would find it interesting. So I foil the first two uh, factors. And I foil the second two factors which in this case is very easy. x plus the square root of 5 times x minus the square root of 5, they're conjugates. So we'll have x squared minus 5. Now if you have your calculator with you, you can uh, easily calculate what negative 7 fifths x plus 5x is. Um, I chose to do it by hand because I didn't have a calculator handy. That gives me x squared plus 18 fifths x minus 7 in parentheses times x squared minus 5. And now, I'm going to multiply them. So I'll have x squared times x squared minus 5 
plus 18 fifths x times x squared minus 5 minus 7 times x squared minus 5. That will give me x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 18 fifths x to the third minus 18x because the fives cancel minus 7x squared plus 35. Now combine like terms. I'll have x to the fourth minus 5x squared. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Plus 18 fifths x to the third. Minus 12x squared. minus 18x plus 35. This was really a quick and easy problem. But you do need to know how to go backwards from the zeros to the factors to multiplying the factors to getting the original polynomial. What does this say? I'm writing a note at the end. I went back to the original, yes. I did. I went back to the original polynomial. That's what this is. We built a polynomial from the zeros. Now we're going to do it again, only this time, look at this, we have one complex number and one radical uh, factor right there, and we know that if 4 plus 2i is a factor, then 4 minus 2i will be a factor. And if 1 plus, two, uh, plus the square root of 2 is a factor, then 1 minus the square root of 2 is going to be a factor. But I decided I would do this. I would help you find the original polynomial. Because I had to do this when I was in college algebra. I had to go backwards from a problem like this and do exactly what I'm doing now. And it's actually very interesting. There are some tricks that speed it up. One of those needs to be a plus, but I fixed that later on.